Hi, first graders. I need to go to the grocery store to pick up a few things, but I was worried that I wouldn't remember all the things that I needed, so I decided to make a grocery list. Hmm, what are some things you notice are on my list? What do I need to pick up? Yeah, I have lots of things on my list. I need to pick up some apples at the grocery store. I need some chips, some milk, some eggs, some bread, cheese, and peanut butter. A list tells you all the things that you need or all the things you need to do and lists them one right after the other. A list doesn't usually have full sentences. It just lists one word or two words at a time. This is my grocery list, but did you know that you can use a list to help you write a poem? You absolutely can. Today we're gonna to learn about how to write a list poem. A list poem is a poem that basically is a list about a certain topic. You can write a list poem about anything you want and you list the details or each line of your poem, one right after the other, just like my grocery store list. Let's take a look at some list poem examples. Here's a really fun and silly list poem called My Lunch. What do you think this poem will be about? My lunch. Did you say you think it's gonna be about somebody's lunch and all the things in it? Let's find out. A candy bar, a piece of cake, a lollipop, a chocolate shake, a jelly donut, chocolate chips, some gummy worms and licorice whips, a candy cane, a lemon drop, some bubble gum and soda pop, vanilla wafers, cherry punch, my mom slept in while I made lunch. So silly. The person who wrote this poem, Ken Nesbitt, listed all the different things in this kid's lunch. They were all pretty silly things, a lot of candy, a lot of dessert, a lot of junk food. And each item in the lunch was listed one right after the other. It's like a list of all the foods in the lunch. This is a good example of a list poem because it just talks about all the different things about one topic. Let's read another list poem. This one is called Hello Fall by a student named Natalie. This one is probably going to be all about the season of fall. Let's read it. Apples, jack-o'-lanterns, apple cider, apple pie brown, yellow, red, orange, leaves. Costumes, trick-or-treating, pumpkins, scarecrows, Halloween, my birthday, fall. This student, Natalie, just listed all the things that made her think of fall, one right after the other. For your assignment today, you're going to have two different choices. You get to write a list poem of your very own, but there are a couple different options that you can do. The first option is to write a list poem called, Ouch. On this list poem, you will write lots of different things that make you say, Ouch. I'm gonna show you how I do this for my Ouch list poem. What are some things that make me say, Ouch? Hmm. Oh, I know when I bump my head, I say, Ouch. So I'll write that bump my head. That definitely makes me say ouch. What else makes me say ouch? Hmm, ooh, maybe a paper cut. Sometimes I get paper cuts. Those make me say ouch. What else makes me say ouch? Hmm, I think, ooh, um, ooh, I know. Needles, when I get a shot. Those really make me say ouch. I don't like getting shots at the doctor. What else makes me say ouch? Let's think of two more things. Ooh, sometimes I stub my toe. Like I'll bump my toe on a table or a chair. And that really makes me scream, ouch. Let's see, I'll think of one more thing that makes me say ouch. Oh, I know, well, fire. If I burn my hand on the stove or something like that, that really makes me say ouch. So let's see, here's what my ha I have on my list poem so far. My poem is called, ouch. Bump my head, paper cuts, needles, stub my toe, fire. I can add a lot more to my list poem, but these are just some things that make me say, ouch. 
I didn't have to worry about writing the full sentence or using periods or any exclamation points. I just listed some different things that made me say, ouch. This is one option for your assignment today. Your other option is to write a list poem about any other topic that you want. You can use your heart map to help you. Hmm, well the other day I wrote a poem about Maisie, so I think I'll skip this part. Maybe I'll go to this side of my heart map to look for an idea. Hmm, ooh, I think I'll write a poem all about teaching, and maybe I'll just make it all about growing up green. I'll write a list poem all about our school. So it's gonna be called Growing Up Green. All right, the title at the top. And then I can list all the things that come to mind when I think of our school. Well, I know I think of my class 101 when I think of Growing Up Green. I know our school has lots of teachers. I think of our students. I know at our school we have art, we have PE, we have music. We are always learning. We have so much fun, I'll write that. So much fun. And then I can keep going and add even more things to my list of things that make me think of our school growing up green. So you can choose to write a list poem about any topic you want. You can write an ouch list poem, but either way, you can also remember that your heart map is always there to help you. I can't wait to read your list poems, first graders. Have fun.